Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here, hello! In this video, as you can see, we have China Glaze's Halloween 2022 collection. These three are matte, as indicated by the cap, and these three are glossy. Um, now, I do want to let you guys know that I have heard a lot of noise in the nail community about these polishes. Um, and especially because I heard noise, I avoided any other reviews from other people because I wanted to get my own opinion on them. So. I have no idea what people are saying about these. I'm going to tell you what I think. Now, that's usually the case. Usually, I avoid reviews of collections that I plan to review because if I watch you in the first place, it means I like you and it means your opinion is going to probably bias me and I don't want that, right? So precisely the people that I like, <laughs> I avoid watching their videos. So I definitely have avoided watching the videos for this collection. So everything I'm going to say here is whatever I think. So I'll watch their videos after. So we'll see. We can discuss in the comments if what I'm saying matches or not. At this point, I, like I said, I've heard a lot of noise and it's been mixed. So let's get into it. First up, we have Rotten to the Core. And this one for me was a solid two coater. First coat was a little bit thin because it does have like a jelly base. It's a little bit thin and streaky, but it built up very, very nicely on that second coat. You guys can see here that it has like a purple base with a blue shift. And that's it. It was very opaque, even though it was a jelly. At least, well, my nail length is very short. You guys are going to see on the swatches, but um, no complaints about this one. Very good overall. Um, that's it. Just a purple with a blue shift. Good in two coats. Next up, we have Once a Witch, Always a Witch, and this one's like a lime neon green. Uh, sometimes you're gonna see media that looks a little bit yellow, but it's not, it's a green. And so I have very short nails right now, and on my nails, I got it um, opaque and even in two coats. It was streaky on the first coat, but I did do a second coat that where I floated it, f floated it <laughs> a little bit, and it looked very opaque and very nice. Now, keep in mind, on the swatch picture that I did on my thumb, I did do three coats because I did the second coat too thin and I needed a third one. So this one it seems to be like a typical neon thing where two to three coats. I don't think you're gonna need more than three. And also it was easy to work with. It wasn't stringy or anything. So that's it, just a, a neon is normal. It's not like the best, but it's not the worst. Next up we have Deadly Desire. And this one's a jelly red base with red glitter and it was sheer on the first coat but not very streaky at all it was very easy to apply easy to work with um, now it did build up perfectly for me at two coats um it's giving me like ruby slippers you know kind of vibes and i know that's not what the theme is but i'm looking at it and i'm thinking like little red shoes you know i'm not in kansas anymore tuck, tuck, you know anyways good polish easy to work with no complaints about this one. I don't think it's gonna be hard to remove or at least not too hard because the glitters are not chunky. They're very, very delicate. So, um, but yeah, pretty good red overall. Up next, we have Sinful Soul. And here we're starting with the matte polishes. This one's kind of like a whatever white. Like it was okay. It was not the best, not the worst, just whatever. Like a, the first coat you're gonna see on the live swatch was a little bit streaky, but it built up nicely for me on the second coat, but I did float it. So if you don't float the second coat, you might need three. Now, let me tell you, if you have ridges on your nail, you might see them. Like I have some things on my thumb here and I feel like on my swatch, I, I could almost see them. So, you know, just keep that in mind. And now the matte finish was not very matte. It seemed kind of like a satin, satin finish for me. It doesn't like really go like full on matte. So I don't know if it's because it was white I've never seen a white matte before, so I don't know if it's because it's white and it's too light. I couldn't see the matteness of it, but yeah, it's just white. I don't see any, I think I don't see, well, maybe like a little bit of a very slight hint of an off white in here, maybe like a bone kind of color. So maybe not stark white, but like a bone white. Next up, we have Evil Queen, obviously another matte, like you can see here in the cap. And it's not a one coat black, but it's a decent two quarter black. If you do thin coats, you might need three, but I did the normal here as well, where I did one normal thinner coat and one floated coat, and it was perfectly even for me, and opaque, non-streaky or any of that. Now, I do have to say that I do feel like this one went more matte than the white. 
but they feel like the same formula. So I think it's just my perception that since the color is darker, I can see the matte a little bit better. You guys are gonna see it in between the live swatch, between one coat and the next. You're gonna see at the start of the second coat how it's already dried from the first one. And also in the swatch picture, I kept it without a top coat so that you guys could see how it dries. But yeah, I mean, solid two coat or black. But it's matte, you know, so anyway, it doesn't really matter. You can put a glossy top coat on it if you want. Up next, we have Twisted Sister Matte. And then this it was a super amazing formula for me on the first coat. Maybe I did it a little bit too thick. I don't know. But it had a great formula. So you could do like a first thin coat and then it's going to build up fine on the second one. It does like we're seeing here, it dries matte and you do see it. So yeah, I guess maybe the white, I don't see that much because it's white, but in the black and in the pink, I could see the matte finish. Um, so yeah, that, that's it, just a pink, matte, decent formula, nothing else going on here. I don't know if this can be considered like a fuchsia or magenta maybe, I don't know. I'm calling it pink, but I think that's not right. <laughs> all right, so after reviewing all of them, if I have to pick a favorite, I'm actually gonna go with this one. I think it, has, it builds up beautifully and that blue shift on the purple is really, really nice. Let me speak real quick on the black and white. The black and white, they're not the best black and white you're gonna find. And you can turn any good black and white that you already own into matte probably is even gonna look better than these two. So they're okay if you don't have any and you want the collection because you like the Halloween theme, that's fine. But if you have white and black, I would say skip this one. And this pink is probably a color that we own. You can just add a matte top coat and turn it into matte. So nothing special here either. Now, this one's a very beautiful, very beautiful color. So it behaves okay, like the jelly neons behave. It behaves okay, it was opaque, and even for me at two coats, might take two to three. This one was very, very good for me as well. Very beautiful, it feels even Christmassy. It doesn't even feel like a Halloween color. It feels Christmassy, it feels holiday. So top three, definitely here with this one in the first, the red being the second, one, this being the third. This three, I can honestly say you can probably pass. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I think it's pretty good. It's pretty decent, you know? Halloween collections tend to be like quirky and have a theme and they're just for fun. They're not even like their fall collections. So I think it was okay. Uh, nothing epic, but it was, wasn't bad. I liked it. Oh, and also I bought this myself. Nobody sent it to me. So there you go. Have a great day or night or whatever time it is. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.